Uh, hello, Tina. I'm coming to feed you. Ow! Ay, ay, ay. Oh, boy. Did y'all hear that? I just smashed my head on this gate. This is a major problem, but it's also my best opportunity to fix it. So if I can grab this, maybe. Come on, Tex. Okay, I got it off. Okay, we're making progress, Tex. We're making progress. I need you to move your back foot off of that one. Okay, we might be okay. It's very important not to get my fingers tangled in this like they are right now because if he does decide that he's done with this game I'm gonna have a major problem Tex you just keep on eating don't worry about what I'm doing don't you worry about me over here good boy good boy Tex good boy okay now we got a little bit of trickery we got a little bit of trickery. Okay, we got most of it off. Be a good boy. No, put your head back down. You're almost out. Yeah, get that off your foot. Get that off your foot. I can do a lot better. Lift your foot out of there, Tex. Okay, it's just one little loop right there on his horn. That should come off pretty easily. If you would let me. Can you let me? I need your I need your back foot out first, buddy. I need your back foot out. Come here. Let me have this. Okay. Okay, we got it off of there. Come on. I need to come back over your horn. There you go. Yes, sir. You are free. I need that off your back foot. I need that. I need. No. Put. Hold on, Tex. Hold on, Tex. We're almost done. You're gonna. You're gonna spill everything we work for here. It's just hooked, right? There we go. Good job, Tex. I don't know how you always manage to do this sort of thing. Like. I'll show you what happened. He has got the entire hay bale down to nothing. And that's the only time that he can get string on them anymore because we cut it all off. But then you can see he just digs and he digs and he digs. And we end up getting a lot more hay string here. I'm going to have to come back with the box cutter get all that picked up i'm not really concerned about that one because it is attached over there and it's not long enough to really get them tangled too bad but this stuff i just pulled off of him he's about to step on again tex i'm sorry i gotta move this come on come on no let it go let it go okay come with me come over here away from that there go over there away from the string Thank you. Wow, Tex. For something that's so dramatic when it happens usually, this has been a pretty easy morning. And Tex is actually, I think he was ready for that string to come off. That must have happened at some point last night. But I think he was ready for it to come off because he didn't, he walked straight up to his food. He didn't move no matter how much I was pulling on the string or no matter what I was really doing to him, I was close enough to almost touch his horn. Now, well, he's being, he's being kind of weird today. He's letting me be very close to him. This is cool, Tex. Have we learned a new partnership? Okay, never mind. I don't like how you're looking at me. I'm just going to leave you be. I'm just going to leave you be. I'm going to get your string out of here. And I will be on my merry little way. Just stick it in there. So I can dispose of it. When I get back up to the house. Bye Tex. Be careful with that string. Good morning Carl. 
I don't really need you to follow me. I think I'm okay out here. Can you please just leave me alone today? I did not feel good and I already had to get string off of Texas horns. See, he's getting mad at you. Texas is getting mad at you because he won't leave me alone after I saved his life. Here he comes. Oh, Carl, <laughs> you're in trouble now. You are in trouble now. Texas is coming and he is not happy. Look at him. Look at old Tex. All right, Tex, thank you for that slow motion music I just got in there. Please, please go away. I already got the string off you. What more do you want from me? You got food? Oh. You're mad at this. Okay, well, you enjoy standing here screaming all day. I'll be working. Yeah, I will. Don't leave me like that. You know that I actually work around here, Tex. You know I do. You don't got to call me out like that. Okay. Please stop. Please stop. All right, he's not going to stop. Please. I can't focus like this. You're just doing it on purpose now. Little Beth had just grown up so fast. She's out here. Beth, I was I was showing everybody how you eat grains now. Seems like just this morning I was feeding her a bottle. Well, I was, and now she's getting into everything. Beth, Beth, come on. Eat your, eat your grains over here. Look, I got a special pile just for you. There you go. She really likes this stuff here. Uh, she's been over with Elfie eating some green hay too. She's been getting some green hay and some grains and bottles. And that probably explains this belly we got here. Beth, I don't know, what is that? Beth, don't eat that. That's for chickens. You're a goat. Come on, goats. Come on, goats. All right, got all the littles fed this afternoon. Just gotta feed the bigs and the geese and the chickens and the ostriches. So pretty much, I'm just now starting, I'm just now starting feed time for this afternoon. I probably should have listed out that list whenever I was a little bit closer to being done. All right, let's do this. Geese, y'all's food is coming. Y'all's food is coming. I will get Cornholio over here. I will get him. I'll get, okay, okay, I won't get him. I won't get him. I won't get him. I won't get him. Golly. I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to get in here to feed Carl. Because he is blocking the entrance way. So I guess for now I'll go feed Tina and Wanda. And I'll show you the new setup we got out there. Hello, Carl. I'm going to get away. I'm going to get away, Carl. If you would go somewhere, I will come feed you. But I can't do it with you standing there. Maybe you just want some food. Is that it, Carl? Here, I'll get you some. Here you go, Carl. No. Uh, what did you just spit at me? That was disgusting, Carl. Come down here. I'll give you some food. No, you got to come under the fence. You got to you gotta put your head below. You know what? It's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. If you will wander away, I'll come back and feed you, Carl. See, look. You're making Debbie wait now. Debbie is hungry and you are blocking her entrance. All right, whatever, Carl. All right, now's my chance. Carl has went way over there. So I'm gonna get my bucket and I'm gonna make a run for it because there's no telling how long it takes him to get back. It's different every day. Sometimes he'll go over there to try to trick you and make you come out here and think you're safe. And other days he'll just have no clue you're over here. I guess we'll see. What kind of day today is going to be? Hello. 
Hello, Carl's coming. All right, there you go. It's all full. Here comes Carl. This is the daily thing. He's going to speed up a lot. Don't speed up, Carl. Stop speeding up. Okay. Successful mission. <laughs> Y'all thought I was going to forget to shut the gate. But I didn't. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. Bye, Carl. Have a great day. All right. We got all the littles eating over here. Could y'all pipe down a little? I'm trying to make a video. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, anyway, we got all the littles on this side of the gate. They're all over there eating. So what I'm going to do is take Wanda and Tina's food. I'm going to shut this. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, gosh. I'm going to shut this gate. And then that'll trap all the littles on that side. Now, Wanda and Tina are up there in the pond pasture. So none, none of the littles will be able to get to them. Well, except for this goat. Hey, could you stay over here and not mess with the ostriches? Cause you're the only one left over here. Okay, thank you. All right, I'm gonna get them fed. Uh, hello, Tina. I'm coming to feed you, ow. Ay, ay, ay. Oh boy. Did y'all hear that? I just smashed my head on this gate. Okay, back to business. Okay, Tina. Let's get you fed. Oh, Copper. I'm going to have to bring Copper's food out here to him too because he's not moving a muscle. Golly, Copper. All right. First things first. Ostriches. Just got to remember one oatmeal, one specialty oatmeal for old Copper out here. I don't know why I just didn't shut the gate and go back around this way because now I got to go through another gate. I'm tired of these gates around here. Seriously. No, you cannot come out. You cannot come out here. You can eat. No, 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 no. Y'all are not going to start this too, okay? I know y'all are littles for right now. And it's one thing for the littles to be out. But it's a whole other thing if y'all get out because y'all are very fast. Y'all are very fast creatures, and I don't know if I, if I can keep on. Were you hungry? Dang, girl. Come on, Tina. Tina, come eat. Come get your dinner. I'm not going to do it again. I'm not putting the clip in there again. All right. Tina, y'all should be good. To, why are you walking away from me? I don't have your medicine yet. I'm going to get it. Tina, come back. Tina, come back. Fine then, be that way. Your food's over here. I'm coming to spray you down anyway. Hello, Pablo. Come to hang out with Beth today? Here, let me get you some snacks, Pablo. I know how much you love your snacks, Pablo. I bet you don't eat a single one of these. There you go, Pablo. Okay. You really, you ate, you're eating those little pieces of corn instead of eating these delicious millworms, Pablo? <laughs> he really is picking out the corn. He does not want that other stuff, but the corn is his for sure. All right. I've never seen you eat anything. So I guess we're going to have to get you some corn. I'll get right on that, Pablo. Um, the bigs are going to be very upset with you if they knew that you're eating their food. Beth? Beth. That's for Tex. He's going to... Tex, Tex has a lot bigger horns than you do. He's going to be very angry, and I don't think you want to go against him. Your horns are getting big, though. You're like a little devil, but you act sweet as an angel. I'm just kidding. You're crazy. Beth, stop it. Beth, stop eating that. You're starting to be a goat. Beth, stop it. I'm trying to pour this in here. You're starting to act like a goat, and that's not cool. You're supposed to be good. That's why I'm letting you be in the feed room right now. Because you don't tear up stuff. But you're starting. Beth, you're making this job very difficult. Please stop. Beth, get out of the oatmeal. Go, go back to the Big's food. Go back to the big's food. I gotta go mix this with water. I don't have time for your shenanigans right now. 
all the bigs are eating their dinner and that means that my day is over i kind of like this new routine so for right now we're leaving the bigs back on this side of the gate we're not letting them go up there of course tex is still in there he has hay and i fed him but it makes my job 100 times easier that when the, in the afternoons i don't have to let nobody out in the mornings i don't have to let anybody in makes everything so much better than just eat right here off the ground it's not going to hurt them animals are made to eat off the ground believe it or not just when they're in their other pasture they get the luxury of a trough that's all for this one bye guys have a great day like and subscribe bye guys have a great day